So my question to you is, why does the pi never end or re repeat? Uh, okay, so that's a great question, definitely. Okay. All right, so uh, this is just my personal explanation or my personal answer on why pi never repeats. Now, of course, you can definitely take a different perspective, but this is what I think. So, of course, when you have a square and uh, the uh, half of the diagonal length is 1, then we have that the side length is going to be... Oh, okay. The side length is going to be then the square root of 2 over 2 multiplied by 2. So that means that the side length is going to be rad 2. So, uh, then let's say we have, uh, let's say we have uh, something with more sides, like a pentagon. Then, of course, the area is still rational, but it ends up having more decimal digits. Or for a more satisfying answer, actually, uh, here's why I think pi is irrational. It just has an irrational series expansion. You can, for example, write 2 divided by pi as... You can write 2 divided by pi as the square root of 2 over 2 times the square root of 2 square root of 2 over 2 times the square root of 2... Wait, no. Is this right? No, uh, no, it's not. Sorry. It should be uh, times the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2 over 2 times the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2 over 2 and so on and so forth. And of course, each of these are all irrational numbers multiplied to give us another irrational number. Now, there are lots of other explanations you can think of, like, for example, just taking, you can't find any fractional expression uh, just by taking the integral over the length of a circle. So, uh, okay, essentially there are a lot of proofs out there for why pi is irrational. I could probably come up with one off the cuff, but uh, I'm having a, a little bit of a while to think of it right now. Oh, right, okay. So this is what we call Archimedes' method of exhaustion. So let's take a quarter circle over here. Now we can start by drawing the midpoint of this arc and then drawing two sides like this. And this is a quarter octagon. So then this has some fractional area. Then we get another part. So we draw the midpoint of these arcs and then we draw the lines between them. And this is a quarter of a 16 gone. Then we take the midpoints of the arcs that are formed like that, and it just keeps going, and so on and so forth. And the thing is, we've got the sum of all these fractional parts, but these fractional parts just keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And it's not like these fractional parts you know, repeat either. So, for example, it's very hard to find the pattern between them because finding the area of an eight, uh, of one quarter of an eight gon or an octagon is hard enough. But if we take this to be one and this to be one as well, oh, geez, you guys are all coughing. Something make you sick or something? So, uh, it's already hard to find the area of an octagon. I can't do it myself. Which means that eventually, once you add up uh, all of these, then it's, once you add up the area inside all of these, so we get that since these are all parts that we add on top of each other, they get increasingly smaller and have no pattern to them. That means that pi just keeps going on with infinite decimal places, and not only that, it doesn't repeat because there's no pattern to how big these little individual slices are. And of course, the total area of this is just going to be pi r squared over 4, or pi over 4. So in short, just use Archimedes' method of exhaustion, and it will become clear why a circle has, a, why 
a circle's area of pi has no n, why it can't be expressed as a rational number. Okay, sorry for taking so much time to come up with that answer, but I hope that answers your question. Thank you.